What's up guys, let's talk about liability. So guys, let's talk about liability here. Liability is uh, is something you hear a lot, and uh, I don't think that it's quite fully understood. Uh, it is well. Let's let's look, let's look at the definition here. So here's the definition of liability: the state of being responsible for something, especially by law. For example, the partners accept unlimited liability for any risks they undertake second second definition a person or thing whose presence or behavior is likely to cause embarrassment or put one at a disadvantage example he has become a political liability so that definition uh, does not preclude uh, uh, the word liability to just finances it also includes reputation reputation is something that is valuable especially for a company. If you start to lose your reputation or develop a bad reputation, you lose business in the end, which ultimately does end up costing you money. So liability is not limited to just uh, financial damages that occur to somebody else. And uh, hence the reason that in California, you're required to carry liability insurance. Uh, liability can come in many, many, many forms. Uh, the equipment that you use, can pose a liability to the guards that work for you. It could also pose a liability to clients if it if that equipment fails and becomes dangerous to somebody else. So let's talk about what type of things a guard can do that could be a liability that don't necessarily affect you uh, financially, at least in the immediate uh, time. Their appearances. We, we, we talk a lot about a guard's appearance and how important it is, and this is one of the reasons why the appearance is so important. If you have a guard show up to a client's site and they are not dressed appropriately. They do not look professional. They, their shirt is untucked. They're wearing tennis shoes, uh, jeans, what have you. If they do not look professional in their appearance, then um, that reflects badly in your company and that, that drops, that diminishes your reputation. And uh, your guard standing in front of a business is advertisement. And so when you're advertising your guards, they, somebody sees somebody who's sloppy and unprofessional, they are not gonna wanna hire your company to work at your site. Now, let's say that you're not a company owner, you're just an, an employee, you're a guard at a company. An unprofessional appearance may cost you your job. If you do not, if you fail to, to dress appropriately and to be professional, Ultimately, that will affect your performance on the job and uh, that will become a liability to you as an individual and you may end up losing your job and um, You know that that's just not a not a good thing to have especially if you are um, Trying to stay in the security industry, you know, you got to look professional that a, a, a bad appearance is a liability to both you and your company So there are more than there's more than one type of liability. There's a financial liability. There's a there's a uh, liability on your reputation and also there's a liability to the reputation of the business that you are uh, contracted with and also a reputation uh, that, that that goes into the area you know if you if you project a bad image in a certain area that drops the that drops the, the value of that area down and so um, that's something that you gotta be careful of as well because uh, you become a liability to your client and they're going to start seeking uh, another option as far as security goes. Now, um, Commander Hall did a video on uh, why police are not hired to protect a property, um, you know, and, and that private security is, is actually brought in. And I, and I think that there's a lot of reasons why uh, security is preferred over bringing in law enforcement. Because law enforcement, local law, many local law enforcement agencies will do private contracted work for businesses um, and, and they will let you hire their officers and you basically pay their payroll for the time that they're at your site. Primary one is cost. Cost is always going to be a lot higher when you hire a police, a police department to uh, provide an officer uh, 
for security. Uh, another one is the presence of a police officer is not always a, a good um, a good presence as far as uh, the message that it sends to people. If people see a police officer park in a parking lot consistently, they automatically assume that it's a very bad area and a lot of a lot of bad things happen there. And so it, it diminishes the the impression of the property and and and, and the quality of the property. And um, another thing is when, when police officers have interactions with the public, they have to write reports and those reports become public information. They go into a database and they impact um, demographic data for crime reports. And so uh, every time a cop has to, has to interact with somebody, uh, whether, you know, whatever the issue may be, if it's a domestic dispute or, or somebody, um, you know, sneaking around suspicious activity, that all gets reported. And that, that, that ends up impacting those reports and ultimately um, property values are reflected because of those reports and so private security is almost an expected presence and when you somebody sees private security they don't automatically think oh this might be a bad area because it's very common for private security to be in lots of different places just to uh, just to be a presence and so um, the, the cost of private security is a lot cheaper than, than having a police officer there's um, less of an impact on on the uh, impression of the property and uh, private security do uh, they do not do reporting to public uh, databases that impact the, the crime reports and so uh, in that respect it does not diminish the property value however if a guard is acting outside of their scope of work then uh, that can impact property values uh, especially if they are if they are escalating issues and they're having to bring police in uh, often so um, that you know that all ties into liability so just keep in mind liability is not just financial so there you have it guys that's liability for you so we've got to keep it fresh in our minds that you know everything we do can potentially be a liability so we've got to watch our actions and make sure that we're not affecting our clients we're not affecting our companies uh, and as if you are an operator of a company uh, you know just keep an eye on your guards make sure that they are dressing appropriately that they are not doing things that jeopardize your client or jeopardize your contract you know and that's just part of ongoing training i've worked for quite a few companies that really don't provide you with any form of training whatsoever they basically turn you loose on a site and they, those type of companies also tend to have a high turnover rate because they just can't keep guards guards keep doing things they're not supposed to do and part of it is the fault of the guard but also a, a large part of that falls on the security company because they just don't provide any training whatsoever. Um, I, I think the training is very important. Ongoing training is very important. Refresher courses are very important. And uh, that falls on, on the security company to, um, to push those. And yes, you do have to pay your employee while they're doing these trainings, but the value that you get out of that is far more than the amount of money you paid in payroll to have them do these trainings. So definitely budget in the training uh, into your payroll so that you can, um, you know, do, do, uh, you can, you can basically secure your company a little better. You want to make sure your guards have the knowledge and the abilities that they need to do the job that you're hiring them to do. Equip your guards. Well, enough said about that. Um, just wanted to throw liability out there and, and try to get, uh, put a little better understanding of liability and it's not just tied to money. Um, uh, anyway, Hope you guys have a great day. It's a beautiful day. I've got about an hour before I have to start getting ready for work. I'm going to be going into the to my shift. So I'm going to enjoy the rest of this time before I have to start getting ready. Hope you guys have a great day. We'll catch you later. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And like, comment, and share. Thank you much.